Ebony State Governor Dave Umahi has declared that he is still in charge of the state despite a federal high court order mandating that he and his deputy must vacate for defecting to the All Progressives Congress. Well, to get a bit more understanding about this landmark judgment and all the legal implications, we are now being joined by Nkem Okoro, who was lead counsel for the People's Democratic Party in the case against Dave Umayi. Thanks so much for joining us on Newsday. First of all, Dave Umayi says he is still in charge. According to him, the judgment was purchased and nobody is going to chase him out of office. I'd like you to react to that. It's okay. I have to first uh, correct the impression. I was not the lead counsel in the matter, but uh, I was led by some senior advocates um, in the matter. So I needed to get that impression corrected first. Now, with respect to the judgment and the statements by Dave Omahe, the governor of Ebony State, it is very unfortunate you know, that a governor who is supposed to know what the rule of law entails will make such sweeping statements against a valid subsisting decision of a federal high court, wherein the court held that by virtue of his defection from PDP to APC, that he lost, um, he lost his claim over that particular position because the votes by which he ascended into, uh, ascended into office as the governor of Ebony State was the People's Democratic vote. And that vote is not transferable to APC. So what the governor in this circumstance ought to have done was to, if he is not agreeable with the uh, position of the trial federal high court, was to go on appeal, you know, or if he feels there are some conducts of the judge which he is not at home with, then there are procedural means by which he can also lay his complaints at the doorstep of NJC. Rather than coming to attack the judiciary, coming to attack the person of the judge, it is very unfortunate. And I think the governor owed the judiciary, Nigerian judiciary, um, an apology over his statement. He also owed the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria apology for embarrassing the person of the President and even APC as a political party. It is an embarrassing situation that we witnessed yesterday in the country. Well, the governor is claiming that the judgment is corrupt. Uh, what do you make of the judgment personally? Personally, it is a very sound judgment decided on the principles of law. Now, prior to this time, they have been um, laying claim to the decision in Atiku Abubakar, Attorney General of Federation versus Atiku Abubakar, that by virtue of the decision of the Supreme Court in that matter, that the no sitting governor who defects to another party can be removed. But with the greatest respect to their lawyers and their um, um, who, their proponents, I, I think they are wrong. A, a case is an authority for what it decides. The facts and circumstances of the case of the uh, Supreme Court in the case of um, AG Federation and the case of Atiku Abubakar, and the facts and circumstances of the case of Dave Omahe and PDP, decided yesterday by the Federal High Court, are not the same. In the case of Dave Omahe, decided by the PD, uh, Federal High Court yesterday, what was an issue? was the rise of a political party over its votes. And those constitutional vested private rights of the party, can the party take any step legally to enforce it? And has they got, of course, by virtue of Section 66B of the Constitution, have they got the jurisdiction to entertain any such matter brought before it? And the answer to all these posers are in the affirmative. If, by virtue of Section 221 of the Constitution, it is only a political party that can contest an election in Nigeria, by virtue of Section 177C of the Constitution, before you can qualify to vie for an election as a governor in Nigeria, you must belong to a political party. By virtue of a plethora of decisions of the Supreme Court on this issue of who owns the votes cast by in, in an election by which a candidate won an election, whereby the Supreme Court has consistently held that such votes belong to the political party. On what basis, on what moral or legal justification can a sitting governor 
while still holding on to the mandate of the People's Democratic Party in a bony state, defect to APC, who came a distant second in that election. So it is illegal. It is unlawful. So the decision of the, the, the Federal High Court by Justice I.E. Epo is highly commendable. It is the first of its kind in the Nigerian jurisprudence, and it will help to shape the, the, the clamor for constitutional amendment to ensure that this lacuna experience in our constitution or being witness in our constitution, the legislatures will take adequate measures to ensure a constitutional amendment to avoid such further future occurrences. Oh, Mr. Koro, you obviously know that um, um, Governor Mahi is resilient and it appears as though he's going, he might actually see this through in terms of being persistent, saying he's not going to honor that court order. How do you predict that this will play out in the event that he sticks to his guns and the court order remains in effect? How do you think it will be enforced? I expect INEC, I expect INEC, as out of yesterday, People's Democratic Party, in line with the other, extant order of the Federal High Court, has submitted two names to the Independent National Electoral Commission as replacements in view of the judgment of the Federal High Court. I expect that INEC, a responsible public um, organization, will give effect, immediate effect to the judgment of the Federal High Court by issuing certificate of return to the two individuals, Honorable Lidu Iariwe and um, Honorable Fred Udog, who have all been nominated by the People's Democratic Party as both the governor and deputy governor. I expect that the Independent National Electoral Commission will do the needful, knowing that they are a public body who have the, the, the interests of Nigeria at heart. And I know that they are going to obey the order and judgment of the court by ensuring that uh, honorably do it anyway. Oh, Barrister Kem, Kem Okoro, thank you so much for joining us on New State. Thank you.